What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I want to have a conversation about Glorilla. And Glorilla is from Memphis. I don't have anything against her. She is blonde weaving, tattooing it up. And, um, you know, she's the kind of sister that looks like she will help you fight, do a drive by, do a drug deal. And so for you brothers out there who are on your way to prison or back from it, I mean, maybe you want to check out Glorilla and, um, you know, hit her up on WhatsApp or whatever like that. But for somebody like me who wants their kids to be able to read and write and not actually go to prison at seven years old, um, I think I might pass on the sister. She's not that bad. She's a nice little sister, but. You know, the things that Glorilla talking about, I mean, I just feel like, you know, every time she says something, I feel like I'm, I'm on Section 8 or something like that. That's just how hood she is. So anyways, Glorilla is something uh, very particular about her, very specific, is that she has a very deep voice, uh, which is, for some brothers, it's a turn off. But for a lot of brothers in black America, it's normal. To me, the woman that sounds like Glorilla is not abnormal. You know, we we, we, we have all kinds of women that sound like Glorilla all throughout the the country, especially uh, some of those sisters that are out there in the East Coast, New York City. You know, shout out to y'all. You know how y'all can talk. But that is that is problematic. But now. The, the, the situation is that not only that, she talks about she used to try to sound like a girl. She used to try to sound like a girly voice. Now, this is what she says per verbatim. And this is the interview with Elle, right? When I first came out rapping, I was trying to sound like a little girl. I was trying to say some hard-ish, but in a little girly voice. It was me trying to change my sound because I have a naturally deeper voice. I was kind of embarrassed because I wanted to sound like a girl. Okay, which is which is which is good, right? But listen, so here's her sound is very unique. But then she sits on a tweet. Every song I done heard that I done put out was before I got my veneers. My voice is only this deep because my P is so good, duh. And I, I found that to be very interesting. Let me just say this, and maybe some of you black men out there who have been across the world can attest to this. When I started to, the first country I went to was Poland. Uh, The first stop out of the country was Oslo, Norway, on my way to Poland. I flew from Oakland to Oslo, Oslo to Warsaw. And I have never met in my conversation with European Polish women. And this is just in friendly talking, those who can speak English or all that. I've never heard a woman that had a deep voice. Never. I've been living in Africa for a full year now. Can I also tell you something? I don't know anybody who has a deep voice like Glorilla or for the most part, not very many people or and this is, I think most black men are, that's been overseas can attest to this. Usually women who have a deeper sounding voice, in my honest opinion, this is going to get me canceled. But I do see some following up of behaviors that we can consider more masculine than the women who are trying to sound more ladylike. Let me say that. All right. And it's okay to have a deeper voice, but it is not okay to have a ratchet masculine attitude. Okay? Because I done met some people that got some weird voices. And I don't think you can help how you sound so much, but God damn it, to be talking like Glorilla and the things that she talks about. And then you gotta understand, Elle is a magazine that is a white magazine, right? Why are they promoting this? Because they want the agenda is, in my honest opinion, they want women to look like this, talk like dudes, act like dudes. That's the agenda. And then they want, I'm going to tell you, black men to get exposed to something else. 
And once you get exposed to something else, you're going to say, damn, why am I dealing with women in America that's black for the most part? If you're from New York City, you can make that case. And I'm talking about ladies who sound like this because you're going to say, even Christian Rock, why do you sound so masculine? And now you're seeing ladies embrace it. Just look at Sukiyana. Have you heard how Sukiyana talks? How Sukiyana sounds? Woo! You are thinking you're talking to somebody that's a crip. And the reality is, is that you can do that if you like, but do not expect no man to come and look at you as somebody he really feels that he need to protect talking like that. You see, because how you sound is one thing. And it's very, I'm telling you, a, a, a man love a woman that got a feminine voice. I'm sorry. That sounds like a woman. One thing I can tell you about living over here on the continent. Women are very soft spoken here. I'm not saying that they're not shady or they can't be, you know, they can't be crooked or they can't be rude. But women actually sound like, you know, actual ladies. Like when you think about what a feminine woman should feel like, let me just tell you this, right? I, I've heard of people, this is, this is true, this is a true story. That I didn't know that feminine black women existed until I came to Africa. I swear I've heard that until I went to Kenya, until I went to Uganda. I didn't even know they existed. That is how, and when you talk to most women, and I'm not trying to say, because you, know, you have African-American women that are also very feminine sounding too, right? This is definitely the truth. That are very ladylike. I get it, right? But we do have a lot of them who are on the same hype as Sister Glorilla. And then once you get, uh, I'm telling you what you're gonna get when you, get, when, you when you sound like that. You get, the, you get the guys that are not productive. You know? I mean, and, and, and I get you sound like that, but God damn it, how you act. It's sad, fellas. I'm, I'm just gonna be, 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 be honest. And then you're saying that, you know, I sound like this, but my, uh, it's so good. I, let me tell you this. How can a brother, hmm, uh, how, 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 how can a brother be in, in intimate with a woman that sound like that? Because your stuff is so good. So that is a replacement by how you talk. Even, you know, with some of these tag girls, you know, what up though? Like, shout out to my deep churches, but damn, you know, it's like you, you know you got a fat butt, everything you looking good. What up though? Like, man, what, hold on, sister. You need to call I'm on my hang up on. You need to call me back and talk to me like I'm a dude you want to talk to. Some of the sisters out in New York S they suck my D and all that stuff. What's all that? What's up, bro? What? Bro? Huh. What you mean, bro? Yeah, you better chill with that nonsense. And when you go to other races of women, and I'm going to tell you, even though their voice may be a little deeper, it, it's never as bad as somebody like Glory. You just don't, you just don't see it. Just because your voice is deeper, or, you know, or it could be considerably, you know, unattractive. That don't mean as a woman, you got to act like you ain't got no damn sense. That don't mean that. Where do they do that at? I need to know. Where do they do that at? You know, so just be over here talking about any goddamn thing. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.